What makes a statement ugly enough for a defamation claim? In Susan B. Anthony List v. Driehaus, a political action group claims a legislator supported taxpayer-funded abortion. With his pro-life reputation damaged, can the legislator succeed in a defamation case? Steve Driehaus, a U.S. representative, maintained a reputation as a pro-life congressman. Driehaus voted for the Affordable Care Act, a health care reform bill. Susan B. Anthony List, or SBA, a pro-life advocacy group, made statements that Driehaus's vote meant he supported taxpayer funding of abortion. For example, SBA declared that, quote, It is a fact that Steve Driehaus voted for a bill that includes taxpayer funding of abortions, unquote. The statements were made as Driehaus sought re-election. SBA's statements appeared in a fundraising email, on its website, and on the radio. In addition, SBA planned a billboard, stating, quote, Shame on Steve Driehaus. Driehaus voted for taxpayer-funded abortion, unquote. After Driehaus threatened legal action against the billboard company, it held off on erecting the billboard. SBA then stated that Driehaus ordered the company not to put up the billboard. Driehaus filed a complaint with the State Elections Commission, alleging that SBA's planned advertisements contained false statements about him in violation of state election law. The Elections Commission found probable cause that SBA's statements were false. But SBA persisted in its efforts to characterize Driehaus's vote as support for taxpayer-funded abortion. Speaking on Fox News, SBA's president said that even if the Elections Commission prohibited the billboard, SBA would use radio ads to flood Driehaus's district with its message. SBA sued the Elections Commission and Driehaus in federal court. SBA sought declaratory and injunctive relief, preventing enforcement of the state elections law. Driehaus counterclaimed for defamation, maintaining that SBA's statements damaged his reputation as a pro-life member of Congress and were intended to deceive voters. SBA moved for summary judgment on the defamation claim.